be a little bumpy here because it's windy. Sure, this is Luke. I hate that. Um, I've flown with Luke on a Discovery flight. He's had one lesson with another instructor. All right, so are you familiar with a standard rate turn? Or just to recap, so we're going to do 45 degrees, which is that line, the little one between the two big ones. Got it. All right, let's talk slow flight. Okay. We're going to turn this into a power off stall. All right, so Anson County says it's 340 at 10 knots, and they have, can immediately have a runway 3-4. Right, okay. Want to do that, or do you want to try ground maneuvers? We can uh, see how bumpy it is down there. Sure, no, let, let, let's go down and do a landing. I think that's good, and if you want to do ground right. reference maneuvers, whichever, yeah. Niner, Zulu, weather, wind, 3, 6, 0, at, 1, 4, gust, 1, 8, visibility, oh. 1, 0. All right, so it is coming right down the runway, but one four gusting zero, one eight. Airport. Automated weather observation uh, one four. Zero, I don't know if that's going to be the best zero, learning zero, environment. Fair enough. Three six zero at one four gust one nine. Why don't we go down uh, to say thirteen hundred feet? Let's go kind of down a little bit to the left, like like right in here. Okay. And let's see if we can find a point to do a turn around a point. That's and we'll good. do it at uh, let's see, we said elevation here. We'll do it at thirteen hundred feet. That gives us a above. thousand, so yep. that's right at the top of it. Okay. And that way, too, if it's really bumpy, gives us a little bit of cushion. And I will tell you, this wind indicator on here can be a little finicky. You could okay. think you're all set up and you're coming in the downwind, and all of a sudden it'll switch around. I gotcha. uh, you can use it as kind of a general reference. Okay. If, uh, you know, if you didn't have that, you'd be looking at bodies of water or trees or just trying to determine if you could, or smoke is a good one. Okay. Um, yeah, sometimes that's frustrating. You get all set up, and it's good, and the thing just spins around on you. <laughs> so I, right there, there's a little fire, so I can see, see smoke. That. So it so looks like we're basically going, what, 45 going. degrees into the wind? Yeah. That's, that's reasonably sort of. accurate. So our point be a fairly small Tower 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 house, Tower okay. a barn. On right okay. We can't use, Tower like, Tower a lake, gotcha. right? That lake isn't the uh, right, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's we need something big. a little yeah. smaller. Okay. And if you're doing this over somebody's farm or house yeah. one or two turns and leave you don't yeah, want right. to irritate you don't want to get a phone call to the barn down there i'm still judging how much okay. distance we're going to get as okay. we're gliding okay. down here so uh-oh engine just quit all right so we're gonna pitch for 73 73 for 73 we're gonna find a place to land so we got a field right here down to our left okay i think that all right they're airports but that's further away than i think we can be and that one's into the wind right so and I don't see yeah. it. So, yeah, it's better. So we're right here. Whatever you can see. All safe. right, so you like this field, the multicolored one right here? Multicolored one right here. All right, here, so, so we're still high enough. So the wind is coming. We have a crosswind on that, right? So yep. it doesn't necessarily matter. All right, so we can get set up on either end. All right, so we found our field. We're at our glide speed. And we still have a little altitude, so we have yeah. some time. Watch, so you're 10 knots above your glide speed. I'm trying to slow down. Remember, altitude is our friend. Got it. All right, so we've got a minute. We could run through stuff, even right. without pulling out a checklist. We sure. Can check. So fuel pump, fuel pump mixture, mixture, uh, throttle. Which tank we're on? Which tank fuel we're on? In it? Right. Uh, All right. Alternate air. Altitude. Would be the last part of that yes, checklist, I think. Pump. All right. So none of that worked. This uh, is where we're looking for over here. So we have okay, still so we altitude. Have that, so I'm just staying up speed. Just make sure we don't get too far we, away from it. Now we can talk to somebody. All right. So, so who would we call? We're not talking well, ATC. So well, who would one we call? One two one point five. One two one point five. Made him get two souls on board. And we, and we can use our map. We can say, look, we're whatever, you know, four miles southeast of KBBP. Because sure. right? we're not going to have time to really right. get down. Okay. Interestingly, I think that might be KBBP right straight ahead. I think I see that. Okay. Right there. But I, I again, I don't know how far we can glide. So I think. Oh, let's see if we can make it. Okay. Actually, a runway is going to be preferable, right? No doubt. A lot preferable. So, so again, you're 10 knots quick. That's yep. not going to help you. Any. Nope. But let's just see. Right. I mean, this plane has a very good glide ratio. It's okay. uh, 8.9 to 1. So that means for every 1,000 feet of altitude, we've got 9,000 feet of, of horizontal. Got it. So I'm going to aim right for there then. We're lined up with that run. Flaps up until we're sure we're going to make That's wherever right. we're going. Right. Oh, I can use my trim to help me stay slow. I don't need to fight it on the elevator. So if it weren't quite so windy, I'd go ahead and take us in. But Sure. I think we'll just do like a low pass. But yeah. Let's see. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. What do you think? So far, yeah, I even see a pappy there. I think, or there's two lights. It's not a four light pappy, but I, I see two, a white, I believe. So I think we're at slope. When you do get too fast, 
don't go too nose high up, right? Just, just level just her out, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah. Again, back to that stall thing. We don't want to take it. We don't have any power. We don't right. want to take a chance of putting her in a stall. Same thing when you're when you're in the pattern and you're coming in for a landing. You don't ever want to climb. If we get right. too low, just level it out and and fly back into it. Yep, right. I do see a white light down there. So even with the pappy, we'd want to stay a bit high on the pappy because yeah. we don't have any power to correct it if we get low. Oh, we're sinking like a rock now, aren't we? Yeah, there I see a one red, one white. Alright, let's yeah. power up, let's go. Too much nose up, just get her going back up, right? That would have been awfully close. Yeah. We, we had it looking good, and then I just started feeling the sink. Yeah. Okay, but you got through your checklist good. Glide speed a couple times, you got up in the 80, so you've oh. given up a little bit. So that does show you a hazard of, oh, I like this spot. Oh, look at that spot. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I thought we could make, it was gonna it be was close, close right sure. to the end, but we know we had the other field. We could have spiraled right at the end of that. Yep. Um, so we probably should have given, stuck with that. If, yeah. if the real emergency, I probably wouldn't have, have given it up yep. for this, but we'll check it out. Sure. All right, so we're well, gonna we enter from a downwind. It looks like the wind's coming from about our 10 o'clock. Okay. All right, so we gotta get into five miles in. There is a couple guys over there that are yellow towers. So okay. always wanna be cognizant of that while I you're see, looking for your low point. Here, yeah. yeah, you don't wanna run into something while you're looking for your turn point. Smoke there to judge my wind direction as right, well. So, so it looks like we have a tailwind. Oh, uh, you see this gray field? See this gray field, yeah. Yeah, at the end of that road there's like a clump of three trees in the gray field. Uh clump of yes. Yeah. Out by themselves? Let's use those. Okay. So kind of position yourself so they're just a little bit past your wingtip. It gives you a good reference point if you use that wingtip. Yeah. Trying to see if you're moving one way or the other. And let's run, uh, let's try it at about 90 to 95 knots. Yeah. And so yeah, that little clump. See right there? there. Yep. Okay. Try not to clump. At 1,300 feet. All right, so the wind's at our tail. So. At your speed is dropping and you climbed a bunch. I see, okay. Oh yeah, it requires you in and out of the cockpit, and or in and out of the window, however you want to say it. That is a little bumpy today, so you're held by fire. But, this makes sense, I'm shallowing out a little bit as I'm... You don't consciously want to talk yourself into, oh, I'm going down when i got to do a steep bank, right? Yeah. Just play it by ear, what's going on outside? I'm kind of watching out, we got a few towers, but I'm looking for those. I don't hey, thank you. I see maybe a one over there, it looks uh, below us. But. So I guess that's a house in the middle of that clump is what that uh. is. Oh yeah, you can see it's out in front of us, but we're not necessarily trying to keep it on a wingtip. There's a different maneuver for that the, okay. that you're not going to be doing. Choose that, kind of gauge your distance. We're basically going, we got a little bit of a left crosswind. It's going to shove us away just a little bit. Um. Oh yeah, even in the wind, I don't think it's going to take as much control as you might okay. have thought it is. Yeah. Because you see how we keep kind of turn, we kind of oh, turned into it there, didn't we? Yep. Even though the, the so the wind is almost a headwind now, so we got a lot closer there. Do you see the difference of the wind? I guess as a part of the lesson of this is that front side to side, right, it took way longer to do our upwind part I, of the circle than right. the downwind side. That all happened far quicker coming around that direction. That is the whole purpose. Of this. If there's no wind, this isn't really a hard maneuver. Right. Okay. All right. So you got the feel of that, and conveniently. We have a nice straight long run of power lines here. Sure. So the wind is coming from that way, right? So let's go that way. Okay. Add a little more power. Let's get set up. You see the power lines? Talk about this long see line. That. Yep. So we'll come in from the downwind side. Yep. And kind of the same principle. We're going to cross at a 90 degree wings level. We'll do it at 1300 again. And we'll try the same power again, but about 95 knots. Yep. Okay, we just crossed the power lines. Wings are Far almost less parallel level there. there. All right, so hold her at 15, about 95 knots. Okay, and the wind's coming from that way, so it's going to want to suck you. All right, so we got to be more aggressive. All right, your speed's on this side. dropping. All right, and you could have made a little bigger, a little further out. Okay. But let's see if you can get her back to parallel and wings level. It wants to happen at the lines, not well oh, before. Not, not early like no, I just did no. there. <laughs> yeah. All right, but it's your first time, so I'm going to cut you a little, a little yeah. slack. All right, so you see as we're coming. So get lined up. 
So this wing needs to come back a little bit right there and level them out. And, and all right, now you've crossed. So now just start your turn. And this is going to be a shallower bank turn. We want to get a little more space between us and the power lines. And the wind's pushing you that way. All right, so now it's pushing you back in there. You might have to bank a little steeper, right, to get around here so when you go across, we're, we're parallel and level. Too much, I overshot it there. See okay, yep, so this wing is crossing right now. That wing, so you were just a skosh early. Yep. All right, so now we just crossed. All right, let's try another one. On wind, so to be a little steep, it'll happen quicker. Yeah, but you see how close you are to those uh, lines? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. as I said, don't get that preconceived okay. notion about I got to turn steep because I'm uh, downwind. Right. Let's use the wingtip, just like we did with the turns okay. around a point. Right. All right? Okay. If the wingtip is kind of out there, that gives you a comfortable radius. I like that right there. So you just keep that coming around. You kind of overcooked her in the turn, didn't you? And you I had to wait for everything I to catch did. up. I had to yeah. slow it way down. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right, level her out. There you go. All right, and then you don't have to roll her right into the other turn. You let right, came across level. Can, yeah, let it so, second. We'll slow yeah, this down. Remember, we're one trying down. to make them as smooth as close possible, so we don't want to turn sharp, level out, turn sharp. And you can see how you have to. That one turn, you know, is both into the wind and ah, with the wind. Yeah. So when you're with the wind, you had to increase that bank, otherwise it was going to just push you right back over. Steep. Uh, really, the checkpoints. Or when you cross the line, right? That so if you got to do a little, you know, fudge it, <laughs> and, and you will have to fudge it one way or the other every sure. time, right? Just to get it back to where. Oh, you rolled out of that turn it just a yeah. little too yeah, early. You right. had it. You had it. All right, let's climb back up to three thousand and start heading home. Uh, you've got a pretty good handle on the checklist and the run up and all that stuff. Sometimes it takes me almost two hours to get wheels sure. up. Uh, students just aren't. Right. Getting it or aren't that fast at it. A part of that I attribute to your videos. You have that video and all that stuff, so yep. you watch that half a dozen times and just four and not having flown that many times. You can bear to listen to me drone on for half a dozen times. <laughs> I, I can when I'm learning. When I'm learning. Oh, there's there's a shameless plug uh, for uh, Diamond Star Pilot. The man is learning <laughs> stuff off of the videos. So. Uh, Hit that like and hit that subscribe. I'm sure you'll put a link to that other video about the I run up can, and the I checklist. I can put a link so, yeah. uh, somewhere in the corner up here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't. I, I other YouTube guys seem to ask for the subscription, the link, and all that stuff, sure. and I never remember to do that. Um, but yeah, do it. I got a <laughs> witness right here. It's helping him. Look, it's saving him money because he doesn't have to pay me. He's getting it for free. Me ad for people like myself who are busy and be in the airplane three times a week like would be optimal it's a way to keep your head in the right not Listen, in the airplane so you have me around all the time how <laughs> bad could that be huh <laughs> all right so nothing's in what's the altimeter let's see Windsor 20013 gust 23 visibility 10 sky clear temperature 6 2 point minus 9 altimeter 3028 and as we cruise in closer, I'll zoom this down because you have to get to five miles or less for it to show the ground okay. clutter. Okay. And then when you go up the other way, such ground clutter. right? Then when you go up, once you get past twelve five, you lose the altitudes on your targets. Okay. So generally, unless I'm looking at something, I'll, as just cruise flight, I'll go twelve five, and then as I close in the airport, I'll, I'll bring it down to like five. Got it. That's the range knob changes that. All right. Yep. Up and just so your 12.5 is actually the circle, so you're seeing a lot farther than that. Sure, uh, ADSB is one of the greatest inventions ever. Uh, yeah, see your map. Do you keep north up or do you have? I am a track up guy. Okay, from three kilos, uh, up the rim. there's a debate among all the CFIs, everybody's got a different thing. Sure, uh, there's some north up guys and track up guys. I like track up because I instantly know if something's on my right or my left. Okay, sure. Right? If it's north up, some, if you're going a certain direction, you may have to think about it. it makes sense, yep. And my brain doesn't operate that quickly on that thing, so that's, I'm a, but to change it, you would just go to menu and map setup, and you can tell it to do all kinds of things. Okay, yep. Princess 311, Golf Romeo, Concord, click to the Craig Airport, be the night to departure as filed, maintain 3,000. Expect 6,000, parts 128.32, squawk 6026.
Okay, so he that was an instrument clearance. So whenever you hear that, don't call into him right away because now he's reading back. He's reading it back, right? And you know, here since a lot of times they're broadcasting ground and tower on the same frequency. Okay. Um, sometimes you can jump, just step all over the read back. Two three eight six Romeo Concord runway two clear for takeoff on course. Clear for takeoff runway two eight six Romeo. All right, we're good to make our call. Yep, go ahead. Concord Tower Diamond Star five two six Delta Sierra. Inbound from the southeast with Tango. I'm star 526 Delta Sierra Concord. Report three mile final runway two. Report three mile final runway two. Uh, six Delta Sierra. All right, so the only thing you left off is you didn't tell them how far out you were. You said inbound from the southeast, but you didn't give it's them It's 10 miles. Yep. Uh, the one call they could give you too, which took me by surprise when I was a student, is they'll say just head towards the numbers. Does that I, mean? I didn't know what that yeah. meant. It means turn towards the runway. Okay. Um, Diamond Star 6 Delta Sierra, runway 2, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 2, 5 to 6 Delta Sierra. Yeah, I was doing my student solo and he said head towards the numbers. I had no clue what he was talking right. about. So, so yeah, that means just turn towards that, that runway. Okay. Straight in. Or just called you without you making a call today. We're also just going to go ahead and report that right down. All right, sometimes they'll do that. Okay. He's watching me on radar. Gotcha. And, um, Sometimes they'll be proactive. Oh yeah, she's a little lively. You saw she ballooned a little bit on me. So that's why I feathered it, just that touch of power, keep her from dropping like a rock. Okay. Um, and she shoved me to the right. So you see that wind's kind of a little bit from all the over the yep. place. So. Yeah. I mean, in these conditions, I won't be too upset with that landing. No doubt. I'm star six down here, left at Delta, then Alpha the ramp. Delta Alpha to the ramp, have a good day. Five to six down here. 